All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. As you can see, my co pilot is here with me. But today, we're watching the first poll winner of Jalloween. Today, we're watching Pet Cemetery. The only thing I know about Pet Cemetery is you shouldn't want to watch Pet Cemetery. The only thing I know about Pet Cemetery is that it's written by Stephen King. And somewhere in here is a great cat named Church. And the only reason why I know there's a great cat named Church in this, because growing up, anybody who had a great colored cat named it Church. And I never for the life of me could figure out why you want to name your animal after something creepy in a horror movie. But who am I to judge? I'm looking forward to watching this more than I am probably the rest of the horror movies that we got on this list because I'm going to say this and watch me be completely wrong. I, I don't know if Pet Cemetery is going to be that scary. But at the same time, all I know about it, it's a cat. So I don't know. I want to say this before I get into everything else. It's not been a lot of people. It's been very minor. I'm just talking about people that's been like over the top rude with it. Of the ones I'm talking about have been upset that we're doing a month of horror movies. You feel like we shouldn't do it because there's other channels doing it. This is our first year doing this channel. As as much as I'm not looking forward to watching any of these scary movies, because I hate scary movies, we've promised everybody from day one, everybody who's rocked with us from day one, that these movies was coming in October, that we had a special month for them in October for horror movies. I'm talking about the people who's been rocking with us since we had three reactors on the channel. A lot of y'all don't even know that. We started with three reactors on this channel. It's been people rocking with us since Alien and Stand By Me, who's been asking for the Exorcist, the Thing, and a couple of other movies that we're going to watch this month. And we've told them from then, they're coming in October. So we made them a promise. We promised them from day one, and we're doing it. Now, I'm sorry some of y'all don't like it. From day one, we treated this like a family. We've been treating this like a family. And when you make a promise to family, you keep that promise. But before we get into this, I need to hit a like and subscribe for me. Well, hit a like and subscribe for us. Don't forget that bell notification. So if you mind where we drop it, you know. Also down in the description, there's a link to our Patreon. I want to thank our VIPs. I want to thank Leslie Trey, John Harold, Becca June, their beautiful dog Missy, Brandon, Big Al, Robin, John DePatrick, Simon X, Lost Opportunity, Cody Stoudemire, Frost 1997, Paul Sawicki, Brady B. Olson, Danny Boy, Adam. Anna Rondo, Big Frank, JB, and our newest members, Echo and Nyreen. With that being said, here's a word from our sponsor. Jalloween is brought to you by this month's sponsor, Ewan. I used to have a regular office chair to do my reactions in, but within a week, that chair broke on me. I tried to continue to use that office chair but it was extremely uncomfortable, and I never knew from minute to minute how stable it was going to be. I don't have those problems anymore because of Ewan. Ewan has premier award-winning gaming chairs and gaming desks. They have heavy-duty chairs that hold up to 550 pounds with 4D armrests and pew leather. For myself, I opted for the Ewan Championship Series Aeronomic with cold cure foam and pillows. The cold cure foam rivals memory foam with its durability and softness. Ewan has adjustable 4D armrest. Ewan offers an adjustable tilt with lock function. That way you can lean back in your seat and have more comfort. For me, doing movie reactions and being a heavy gamer, Ewan came in clutch with an amazing chair that provides top level comfort. That's why over 2 million users choose Ewan. So head on over to eracing.com so you get your gaming chair and a gaming desk. Don't forget to use the code EOL so you get your 20% discount. I see you on the other side. 
Let's get it. Pet cemetery. I just thought about something. And I'm 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 I don't I don't I hope it don't happen. I'm gonna have to watch an animal die. Like, do they legit have like pet cemeteries? Like for real, is that a thing? I don't I tell you what, I don't like nothing about this music that's playing. This is very unsettling. And it got all the little kids whispering and shit, saying stuff. I don't like it. Man, that truck moving, ain't it? Ellie, be careful. Listen to your mom. Mommy, So we ain't gonna watch that little baby? No, And am I gonna watch the little baby? <laughs> Gage. Oh! Gage! No, you don't, my friend. I corralled him for him. Oh! I'm Lewis Creed. Judd Crandall. You want to watch out for that road? Them damn trucks. How about be better parents keep on your kid? Just as happy as a clam here, Ellen Creed. Our clam's really happy. Oh, he said clam. Okay. You're alive. They said clan. I was like, hold on, what? A good walk. I'll take you up there sometime. Tell you the story, too. Listen, I need you to tell me that story now. I'm going to tell you. I'm the type of person, when I move somewhere in this honey, I'm gone. Day one. Ain't no, ain't no, we just bought this house. We can just sell it, too. Shut up. That you, Doc? Yeah, it's me. Well, come on up and have a beer. God, that hurt. I got a quick Monday. <laughs> Why do these trucks keep running constantly like this all day? You know that path your wife commented on? Well, where does it lead? Pet sanitary. Dogs and cats, mostly. My little girl's got a cat, Winston Churchill. Call him Church for short. Winston Churchill. I know that's a person, but that's a dope-ass name for a cat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that the little boy from Kindergarten Cop? He got the same haircut. Can you come on Monday, Missy? Always thought it would be lucky to marry a doctor. Guess I'll never be lucky. Hell, I ain't married anyone. Her voice was kind of deep, wasn't it? Leave something good come of it. Couldn't plant nothing but corpses here anyway, I guess. How can you call it a good thing? Yeah. Built by broken-hearted children. They have to learn about death somehow, now don't they, Ms. Creed? Daddy, look! This one's a goldfishy! They wasn't all killed by the road. I just want to be in there hanging out. That's where I buried my dog Spot. Do you know what a graveyard really is? I guess not. It's a place where the dead speak. Look, bro. We we just met you. You need to ask me, can you tell my daughter this Because I'm just saying. I might be crazy. I might I might choke an old man. I just, I don't know. I'm not saying I would do that, but I'm just saying, if it happened, it would be understandable. Okay, maybe I went a little too far with that. But still, he can't be saying that little kids. That is that little boy, ain't it? Little, yeah. Little badass, huh? I don't want Church to get his nuts cut, Daddy. Church will be all right, honey. You promise, Daddy? Give the little girl a promise. Church will be fine. I don't like how he hesitated. <laughs> and he bad as hell. Start a cardiac monitor. I mean, they come out of nowhere with this. Just nowhere. I 
I told Rachel not so much as a sprain today, my friend. Man, his f***ing head! Look at all that f***ing blood. Oh! 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 The soil. Oh, I'm okay. Hey, man, stop talking and f***ing die, dude! How did you know my name? So I was wrong about this movie being about a cat and then I scared that's, 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 that's a demon. That was a demon. They brought a demon in there. Come on, Doc. We've got places to go. Oh, hell no! Oh, he wants to wake her up, baby. We moving. Come on, Doc. Whoa. Don't make me tell you twice. Oh. Hey, man, f this movie. Hey, go before he got back up. I have got so uncomfortable so fast. <laughs> Go, I'd have walked the whole house up. We're not following some dead dude. Especially some dead dude I just met. Anywhere. This is the place where the dead speak. Do not go on to the place where the dead walk. I was dirty feet. I thought it was like zombie feet. I was nervous. Shut up. Leave me alone. Shut up. But I have a question. And the fact that he went to work the next day, better man than me. I'm telling you, we would move out that night. As soon as gone. Pack it up. I don't like to think of you rattling around the house on Thanksgiving Day. As far as your dad is concerned, I'm never going to be a member of the family. Dad, call your dad. He need to help us move. Because we're leaving. Hello. Afraid you may have a spot of trouble here. Judd. There's a dead cat over here on the edge of my lawn. I think it might be your daughter's. That church, all right. What are you going to do with it? I'll bury him in the morning. Maybe. There's a better way. The place we're going is on the other side of that. Oh, no. No. Just follow me. Oh, no. Move easy. I'm now a full believer that he's the one who killed a cat. You're a doctor. You're supposed to be smart. Just down here a little ways. Listen, bro. You can walk to another county to bury a cat. What is this place? This was their burial ground. Who's there? Whose burial ground? McMack Indians. Oh, hell no! I'd help you, but... You gotta do it yourself. Each buries his own. No! <laughs> oh, this old man ain't <laughs> This old evil mother <laughs> How long do it take to dig a hole? Old dead ass told you not to do that. I hope he come visit you. I really don't, because I know it's gonna scare me. But... I hope that's him on the phone. Not one word about what we done tonight. What did we do tonight, Judd? Why didn't we ask this before we did it? The soil of a man's heart, Lewis, is stonier. 
like the soil up there in the old Micmac burying ground. This motherfucker here talking in riddles. Jesus. Church. All right, listen. We got to kill church. Cause I just buried you, bro. You gotta, you're, you're dead. Did you see his eyes? Oh, you stink, church. That's cause he's dead. Jesus, boy, Christ. <laughs> Shut up. I tried to tell myself that I buried him alive. Fragment did for me when I did for you last night. The spot came back. The spot came back all right. It was never quite the same dog that I knew. Man doesn't always know why he does things, Lewis. And there's a story he wasn't telling me at first. You burned your dog and came back a demon? Why would you not tell me this? Has anyone ever buried a person up there? Christ on his throne, no. And whoever would. So it's cool for pets, but it's out of line for a person. I mean, I just feel like, I mean, and I know some of y'all are like asking me in the comments if it was Drogo Ramos, would I do it? No. I love them to death. I love them to the end of time. I love them more than anything else in this world. But if I bury them and they come back the next day, shotgun to the face. I love them, but I don't want no zombies. <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Look at his eyes! How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> he came back from the dead. Are you really worried how he got in somewhere? Ouch! You buried him and he climbed out back. And came back to life. Him getting in the bathroom seems like light work right now. Daddy, is Church all right? No, no, honey. Church is a demon. I dreamed he got hit by a car when Mr. Crandall buried him in the pet cemetery. You're not completely wrong on that. Is he really all right? No, he's a demon. You have a zombie cat. Phew, you smell bad. It's because he's dead. Cats have shampoos. Church smells bad. Can you wash Steph off of me? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Why is she killing herself? <laughs> I mean, she lives next to a doctor. What the fuck is she doing? Rachel not feeling well? He's been throwing up ever since Mrs. Rogers called and said Mrs. Dandridge. That's Dandridge. enough, Ellen. Those kids will tell you the truth no matter what, won't they? How's your cat, Lois? Jelly's cat. It's your cat now. Fuck. Is Missy in heaven, do you think? I don't know, honey. Hey, she be asking some questions, don't she? Look at his eyes. When I get scared, I get defensive. Scared of what? Dying? Well, you need to be scared of that demon in your house. My sister died in the back bedroom, and that's what she was. A dirty <laughs> secret. Mm. We wanted her to die. <coughs> we wished for her to be dead. It wasn't just so she wouldn't feel any more pain, so we wouldn't feel any more pain. It was because she started to look like this monster. And you buried this bitch! And then she died. And they thought I was crying. I think maybe I was laughing. Oh, we're not hugging her! We're, no! No! And if I ever needed another reason not to like your mother and father, I have one now. She just said she laughed because her sister died. 
Like, did he, he just overlooked all that part where they said they wanted her to die? Your wife's an ain't person. Mommy, look! Watch him. There it goes! <laughs> it's crazy that thinking that he's that small and can walk. Hey, something bad is about to happen, ain't it? We got it. We got it. We got it. That's so cute. My man took a thousand steps to go three feet. It got away from him, that numb shit. <laughs> you got mad because she said nuts earlier. She just said shit. And nobody can even say the word. Oh. <laughs> daddy, daddy, it's time now. I'm about to watch your son. Oh, shut the fuck up. Get that baby. Y'all got me watching babies die? I can't believe. Like, I can't imagine how he feels. Knowing it's his fault that happened. But at the same time, I can't believe you let your kid out in the road twice. The same kid. Twice. I told her when you were first married, you'll have all the grief you can stand and more. I said, I hope you rot in hell. I will whoop his ass. You're not going to yell at me like that, bro. You I just watched, I just watched my son die. You're not, no. Ellie. I don't care if you're my wife's daddy or not. I will whoop your ass. And then you, then you, you caused my son to get knocked over. He will see me after this. I promise you. Look at his eyes. Fuck off, hairball. Is she doing? You can't act like you're scared of it. It's your fault he there. You are thinking of putting him up there. Don't deny the thought hadn't crossed your mind, Lois. What you've been thinking of has been done. His name was Timmy Baderman. His father, Bill Baderman, was grief struck. He buried his son up there before he ever had a chance to get the bottom of the truth. It was the truth. Sometimes, that is better. The person you put up there ain't the person that comes back. Ain't human at all. <laughs> Sometimes, dead is better. The Indians knew that. They stopped using that burial ground. The ground went sour. Don't think about doing it, Lewis. So if the ground is this bad, why do we do this with the cat? Sometimes, dead is better. The place might have made the itch die, because I introduced you to the power. I may have murdered your son, Lewis. <laughs> If he listened to the damn dude, this would have happened. I had a bad dream last night. About what? Someone named Tax Cow. Oh! Oh, she got powers. Come with us, Daddy. Please come with us. Please, Daddy. I'm scared. Tell your daddy your dream. Bruh, do not go put your son in that Detroit dirt. Don't do that. Why would you do this? And I really, I really can't judge him because, you know, like I said, I don't have kids. I never lost a child, so I don't know. Maybe every parent out there in the world would do this. Remember, Doc, the ground is sour. Look, bro, he done came back and told you again, bro. Leave it alone. Bobby, Bobby, oh, Bobby. That's because his daddy's going to do something really bad. He says he was near daddy because they were together when his soul was. Hey, you bet that little girl tried to tell you something. How does little girl get her powers? 
Like, do her mama got powers? Did she get this from her mama's sister? Packs. <laughs> Bust you out, son. Why would you do this? Hey, man, that the Pascal, that was his name? Patchens, what, 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 what? Oh, Buster Head. He went to Chicago to go to go tell his wife. That's the best ghost going. I still wasn't following him in that f***ing woods when he came and told me to come on. Hello? Hello, Judd. It's Rachel Creed. I'm calling from Chicago. I really thought the man said judge when he first introduced himself. You don't want to do that. I have to do it, Judd. Goodbye. Rachel! Rachel! Bro, you hear that, huh? So you don't see the duffel bag? So you gonna put your son in a duffel bag? Oh, he's going crazy. Hey man, you ain't gotta open that up right there. We we don't wanna see this. That might be one of the saddest things that I ever saw in my life. What the f is going on? The f is happening? Woo! I'm coming for you, Rachel. Cage, and I will get you for letting us die. Man, they can't just be sitting places like that. This motherfucker sleep. You have one job to do, and you're asleep. Like I can't even say you're drunk. You there's one bird missing. Oh, dead ass! Pop up and tell him no. You really about to put your son in that Detroit dirt. Like, look, they, 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 the environment is trying to tell you no. It's been very busy. I really don't have anything. What about the Aries K? I do have an Aries K. I'll take it. And this dude is really helping. Like, but should he be there? Like, can he not be in both places? See? Just imagination. Did you imagine church come back? So, all right. He's going to put his little boy in the Detroit dirt. And he's going to come back and eat his face off. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. It's trying to stop you. Do you hear me? It's trying to stop you. Is anyone there? He's been talking to you for an hour, two hours? Did he come from Chicago to there? He's been talking to you the whole time. Well, you had about 20 minutes with him. He ain't been talking to you for two hours. He knew you had about 20 minutes. Look at his eyes, man. That's creepy as hell. How did a little boy get there that fast? Well, he, he's a zombie, so I don't know. He, I don't even want to see him. <laughs> Girl, they got me watching a dead zombie, baby. The little, the little, the little, the little dead zombie baby got a, got a shank. 
Hey, bro, run. You know, ain't no more little kids in your house. Run. Well, that's one in. Who's here? Like, you don't fing know. I'm not playing hide and go. Gage? You the one playing games? I will run straight across the street. Like, come get your son. Come on out. Don't you got a gun? I brought you something. Oh, he got one too. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure his is way sharper than yours. <laughs> you know how terrifying this is? The stomach over here bubbling. We got a fart. Why would you? Oh! Where did you go? Oh! Oh! Hey, I love you, but you can never come back as a zombie girl, though. I could have it. Um, look, I know you haven't really been here. You've been gone? You've been out of town? Um, let me catch you up. First, that's your zombie cat. Church. And your son's a zombie who eats people. Judd? Oh, Judd dead. <laughs> Judd got hit with that thanks for playing. I don't like this. Judd? Are you up there? <laughs> bro, don't do that. Come here. You can't be doing that, bro. Not right now. You can't be doing that shit. I've never really appealed myself. Don't do that. Hey, girl, you better quit worrying about your sister. Your son's out here doing surgical shit. Rachel, is that you? I'm going to twist your back like mine so you'll never get out of bed again. Never get out of bed again. Why he look like a little pimp? I bought you something, mommy. No, do not be happy to see that little demon. I bought you something, mommy. Bitch, you about to cut you! I bought you something, mommy. Ah! 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 Did she not see the shaking of his hand? If he said I brought you something, daddy, you better kick him like the motherfucker then it's um 300. Hello. It's Erwin. Just wanted to be sure Rachel got back all right. Yeah, she got back. She did. Rachel's asleep. I suggest you wake her up. Permanent. Can't talk to you right now. All right, go, daddy. Will you come over and play with me? Oh, the little boy that had phone numbers? Mommy came, and I played with Mommy. We had an awful good time. What did you do? <laughs> no, what did you do? You done this. And you going around with a needle? He's a zombie. Want some grub, Church? Church. Play dead. 
play dead. Be dead! He's a zombie cat. That is creepy. I'm gonna have fucking nightmares about this stupid cat. I will hit tell you. My dead son called me talking about come over and play with me. I didn't play with mommy. I'm going to the gun store. I'm coming back with that Uli Wop. <laughs> and I'm blowing his head off. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda hope Gage wins. Rachel! She's dead. Quit your mouth out on her. She gone. She gone, folks. Scared you did not. Gage? Hi, Daddy. Now I like to play with you. As I don't, I don't, I don't like how I heard him over here and then heard him over here. I don't like that. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I mean, what is he doing with these bodies? Don't look about in there. Don't look about in there. Don't look about in there. You are supernatural. You are eating people. What are you talking about? You are three years old. You carried your mama upstairs in hunger. Is he dead or he just playing dead? I done done that first. He killed the little dead baby. I think. Too. What, what if she what if he bit her and she turns into one? Woo! Shut up. I'm so sorry. But don't make it worse. It'll work this time. Because she just died. What the fuck is he talking about? It will be alright, Rachel. I hope she come back and kill him. I hope when he buried her, it takes about three minutes for her to come back. And she eat his face. The soil of a man's heart is stonier. And what you own always comes home to you. I don't want to see her eat his face. Darling. Oh, God! Oh, we're not doing that. Listen, I don't care how much I love you. What's your dad? And half your face gone? We're not doing that. No. I'm okay. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm making a dumbass list for dumbass characters. Just because I want to put him on it. I have to. I have to make a dumbass list with dumbass characters just to put him on it. The foul say to death do us part. You died. My obligation to you is over. Sorry. 
I, I know it's probably cold hard to say it because I'm, I'm like I don't have a wife, I don't have kids. Maybe if I had those things, I'd be like I could understand him wanting to do that. But listen, if a dead zombie thing, dude, I just met keeps trying to tell me, don't make your kid and your wife zombies. I'm going to listen to him. I'm going to be scared shitless at first when he's talking to me, but I'm going to listen to him. Yeah, once they got to talking, they were talking about, they were talking about what, that cemetery, what, the, what the cemetery was, and then he took him to the other place, said Indian Burial Ground. I thought like a whole lot of motherfucking pets was going to show up and just be a bunch of zombie pets. I mean, my man brought back <laughs> and you know the little boy like he didn't even look scary because he looked he looked adorable walking around with the little knife but he just ate a man's face and cut his Achilles heel and then he stabbed his mama so I, he, he wasn't cute no more but you done that and then you instantly take your wife and do the same thing with her and then you have the nerve to act surprised that she stabbed you like this, y'all heard him scream. Like he screamed and was surprised by that shit. Like, bruh, you got three examples of not to do that. You got church. You got the motherfucking story old dude told you, and then you got this little zombie boy who's out for blood. Why would you do this? I know they say you love is a powerful thing, but fuck that. Fear is a motherfucker, too. I'd be scared of that exact day. I go do this, you know. She's going to come back and probably try to eat my face like my son did. He deserved to die. I don't feel sorry for his death. He deserves it. He 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 wanted to die. He committed suicide. You're not going to tell me otherwise. You're not going to convince me otherwise. Because he knew. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can say he was delusional. He was crazy. I don't care. He knew what was going to happen. The dead ghost told him what was going to happen as he was crossing the street. The dead ghost should have made one of them motherfucking trucks hit him. It'd have been easier. And he loves her. She walked in half face gone, oozing and shit. And he kissed her. Y'all know this has been me. This has been a four minute movie. Four. Pulled up, <laughs> introduced myself to the neighbor. Neighbor would have said some weird shit. Then he took me to the pet cemetery, said that shit. Did all oh, I've seen the little the dead dude come back to me telling me, "Hey, you can't be going across there. I'm not gonna be here in the morning." That movie got my stomach hurt. I done fought it like fifteen times. Had me spit earlier. That shit's embarrassing. I know he's gonna put it in there. I know Blank gonna put it in there. Cause I know it is. And y'all see Drago judging me. It's okay. He be he may judge me from the floor too. He be looking at me like that, like I'm gonna get off here so I can go talk to Blank about this shit. And this is probably one of the light movies that I had to watch. I'm not ready for this shit. This is about to be a rough month. I told y'all I got a crook in my neck. I've been jumping and jerking and shit. My damn neck hurting. Uh, I mean, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching it before y'all. Some parts of it, other parts, y'all. If you didn't do it for me earlier, do it for me now. Hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget that bell notification. Don't forget the link down in the description to the Patreon. I'm going to get off here. And I'm going to go watch some cartoons. Actually, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm I'm, I'm going to get off here and just let a big earth fart. Because my stomach's bubbling. Motherfuckers bubbling. Yeah, <laughs> they upset my stomach. Y'all be good. <laughs> Y'all be safe. Night, night. <laughs>